What's up guys, it's Brandon Flash. Today we are taking a Mini Cooper SE, yes, an all electric Mini, on a 200 mile day trip. Today we're here with Kaylee, and we are headed out from Marietta, Georgia, and we're headed to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, it's about 96 miles. The Mini Cooper SE is rated with 110 mile range by the EPA. So we'll see how this goes. We're making a stop at Starbucks first, and we're gonna top this car off to 100% at the Whole Foods in the same parking lot. Let's do it. So we are at Whole Foods right here in Marietta, Georgia. Car just crossed 900 miles on the odometer. We're charged up to, I think, 96%. I just reset the trips. 96%, it's projecting 88 miles of range because this car does use a guessometer. I've got CarPlay set up with my other phone here and it is saying 96 miles to Chattanooga. So we will see how this goes. We are gonna charge it up to 100%. Do you need me to like, well, We are charged up to 100% at Whole Foods in Marietta, Georgia. There we have our route to Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's projecting 96 miles. And the car is projecting a range of 93 miles right there. So we'll see how this goes. There is a CCS halfway there. <clears throat> so depending on what the car says we will arrive with, well, actually, I don't think it even shows you what you'll arrive with, but depending on the estimated range and miles remaining, we'll bail out if we need to, but we'll see how it goes. have gone 15.9 miles. The car is still projecting a range of 91 miles. Uh, if you recall, we departed with a projected range of 93 miles. We do have it set on the green setting. So you have sport, green, or sport, mid, green, green plus. Green plus kills all climate, which no thanks. Um, but we have 80 miles to go with 90 miles of projected range. So I think we're gonna make it all the way there Let's see what we're getting for efficiency. We're at 89% state of charge, and it's showing 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour, so I believe that's like 220 watt hour per mile for all you Tesla people. I'll keep you guys updated as we keep going here. just crossed into 50% a moment ago, well now 49%, we've gone 63.2 miles on 50% of the battery, which is putting us over EPA rated range so far. We have 31 miles to go. Uh, we are gonna be plugging in at the Chattanooga Choo Choo Evgo uh, DC fast charger, so that'll be a 50 kilowatt CCS station. And let's see what efficiency we're getting. We're getting 4.1 miles per kilowatt hour, so just under 250 watt hours per mile. Um, doing really well so far. I do wish this car had driver assistance. It's a little annoying having to drive, especially coming from my Tesla with autopilot. Well, we're in traffic now, so I'm glad I let it rip a little bit and burn up some of the buffer. Uh, we've got 22 miles of projected range at 27%, and we have 8.8 .8 miles to go, so. Once this opens up a little bit, I'm sure we can burn off a little bit more buffer and we'll arrive there with plenty of range. Looks like we're just about to Tennessee as well. They're talking about their uh, fiber optic internet, which I'm fairly jealous of. We made it 95 miles and we still have 20% remaining with 19 miles of range expected. Uh, there you can see down below, we average four miles per kilowatt hour or 250 watt hours per mile uh, with an average speed of 61.5 miles per hour. We were on the highway varying between about 65 and I would say 85 with a few spots over that. 95.5 miles and 20%. So let's get plugged in here. We are at the Chattanooga Choo Choo uh, Evgo DC fast charger and let's see how it goes and hopefully it works well.
There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. They seem gone to sleep this night. Try to catch me howling at the moon. We CCS charged for about 31 minutes. We're charged up to 82%. The cost was about $13, so not great. Uh, it's projecting a range of 86 miles currently. We're not on green, so that should go up a little bit. This is at the Choo Choo Chattanooga. You can see through the sunroof here. Pretty cool spot built during the Civil War. Uh, we had some food across the street at something brew house, but it was pretty good beer selection we got a flight i think it was nine dollars for seven five ounce pours so pretty good and a hummus plate for seven dollars so not bad at all now we're gonna explore chattanooga a little bit We're charging here in Coolidge Park in Chattanooga, Tennessee, level two charge point. Uh, they've got three two handle units each and they're 6.6 .6 kilowatt per cable. Uh, so since we charged up to about 85% on the DC fast charger, we're gonna be topping off here uh, and just kind of exploring this area. We're right on the Tennessee River, kind of behind us there and seems like a nice spot to hang out for a little while. Ninety-eight miles in, we're charged up to ninety-six percent with ninety-four miles projected. We are going to be stopping at a CCS on the way back. It's a fifty kilowatt at an outlet mall, and we're just going to let it rip on the way there. So we'll see what kind of efficiency we get. Let's reset that, and we'll reset average speed. We'll just reset all of these. 
especially since we started at exactly 900 miles, it makes it pretty easy to know total miles. Let's get the show on the road from Chattanooga back to Marietta. We made it to Calhoun, Georgia. We made it 55.2 miles. Uh, let's see, it's not letting me switch. There we go. Uh, 3.1 mile per kilowatt hour. I was kind of ripping it. Uh, 59.7 average, but I was definitely going faster. 55.2 miles. And we're now at 38% battery. So let's get plugged in here. It's projecting 29 miles of range right now, but we are at a CCS Chatamo Evgo 50 kilowatt. Looks like that Chatamo hasn't been used in a while based on those spider webs. But let's get plugged in. Kaylee, are you plugging us in? Yes. Okay. Use all my arm strength. <laughs> Just like that, we're plugged in. Did you already activate it? Yeah. Okay. So it's initializing, it's doing the isolation check on the car. Maybe not the fastest here. I hear some contactors inside the unit clicking. There we go, it's showing state of charge. And I guess that's all the info we can get. So 65 minutes to 100%, but clearly we're not gonna be here that long. Just enough to be able to rip it the rest of the way back to Marietta. Let's see if the car shows current charge rate. And it does not, but it says we'll be fully charged. It's currently 538 and it will be charged in an hour and five minutes, but we will not be here that long. 10 minutes later, we added a little bit of power, up to 63%. And we walked in Nike for a moment, but we're gonna get unplugged and get back on the road. 63% projecting 50 miles of range. We only need 44. Made it back to Marietta. We are at 1,097 miles. 3.1 miles per kilowatt hour, 58.2 mile per hour average. That is for the return leg, 99.3 miles. And we arrive back with 15% or 12 miles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified as soon as new videos come out. There will be plenty more videos with Kaylee, including a road trip to pick up her new to her Model S and driving it from Pennsylvania to Georgia. Have a great rest of your day.